Hello everybody, welcome to part 60 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Picking up again right where we left off, right there. Here's Solaire, he's sad about not finding his son. Uh, we're gonna figure out the sad ending for him soon enough, but for now we press onwards. And we're coming up on Lost Island. So our next goal is to get to the bonfire in this area. Do that, and then we're gonna rush to the bed of chaos. Uh, Siegland, I think I already messed up his quest on this playthrough, so we're not worried about that. We did that all the way through in the last one, so not much more to say there. Um, instead, we go pick up some items along the way, right? Uh, so, obviously, you want to avoid these dragons. I have never even attempted to clear out the whole of this area of them, I think, like, you know, the developers just put this many heroes, like, I mean, <laughs> so, you don't get a reward or anything for doing it. It's an incredibly tedious and dangerous process. I don't recommend it. Um, some big soul items here. And we can get our hands on a... Yeah, this right here is going to be a big soul item. Soul of a great hero. That might be the first one we've ever found of those. Um, this thing is going to be 20,000 in my, I believe. Yeah, look at it. It's like shining like a boss soul. Ah! That scared me. Daddy. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Very cool. Uh, I'm going to be burning through all my soul items at like, the very end. Um, I'm also going to try to make some boss weapons just to show them because um, I've been collecting all these souls from the bosses to like without actually using them. Um, and where does... I think it's under over here is where you get this bomb there. There's an illusory wall. I think. Here's the bonfire. Okay. Rest here. Alright, we're two and a half minutes in and we've already found the bonfire. This is excellent. Um, can I just run there? I don't think there's much I have to... Like, it's essentially as if I just died and um, <laughs> making my way back. Let's kill him. Uh, what's the fastest way up, though? I think it's over there. I think that's where you actually want to go. We will do that. Uh, something I might try for this boss fight is, because um, I don't think there's much of a way to make this fight any more challenging than it was originally. Um, I'm going to try to use arrows because you can actually avoid like half the jumps if you um, like shoot uh, through the wood sticks a few times and then hit the little bug. Uh, and I believe even there's like some spots you can straight up just like Kobe from Kobe and without having to actually uh, like get very far in. I just realized, I don't know, is it, are people still saying Kobe? Or is it like too sad now? Uh, it feels so bad. That was so tragic what happened to him. May he rest in peace. I think it's a great term. Just, when you make a nice shot, just Kobe. It'd be a shame if we lost that turn. So just kill one of these things. I'm curious how easily we can. So two shots to stagger and three shots to kill. Not bad. I think these guys drop uh, red slabs. I don't know for sure. I think it is them though, because I don't know where else you would get red slabs from. Um, yeah, there's like a bunch of extra stuff here to do, but we're not interested in much of it. This little caster out of here. Like, this is Dark Souls magic is. Not that good, I'm afraid. I mean, okay, I say that, <laughs> but that's just me. Um, there are players who, if you min-max for magic, it's like kind of broken, but if not, you're gonna be the one that's breaking. So, oh my god, we're already like, um, <laughs> here within five minutes. So, we probably could have squeezed it into one episode now that I'm thinking about it, but it's fine. 
could have gone for the fourth episode. I might still go for that. In fact, I might try to do some editing. You know what, before I say anything, let's see how long this takes. It's, this could be like a very long video. <laughs> this takes a lot of tries. Um, and I said I was going to try to use the, oh God, where is the arrows? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, fuck, composite bow. Okay. Ah. All right, let's go this way first. Uh, this might have been a bad idea. Ooh. I don't know why I'm going this way first, because usually I don't. Right. I don't even have arrows equipped, do I? Oh my god, I made a horrible mistake. And I'm dead already. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're off to a good start. Um, I will cut and meet you back up there. And we're back. This time, a little more prepared. Uh, so I figured we'll give Men and Tights another go. Um, I'm using the Black Bow of Ferris, even though it's not upgraded. We don't need damage, we just need it to move as far as we can, using my 14 Feather Arrows. So might have to resort to Standard Arrows soon. But I also got the Hawkeye Ring equipped. I'll show you that real quick. And the Wood Green Ring for just extra flippiness. So let's see how well this goes. A little dance. A little dance. Get down and out. Wait. Get clotheslined by a few branches. Okay. And here we go. So, let's actually go this way first, because I'm used to jumping on the left side, and I forgot that, um, you know, initially, you, um, the first side that you go to, there's like no collapsing at all. So, I got my whip out. But it doesn't matter. Okay, um, now you can like quit our homeward bone or something to get to like not have to be this part to like you know run back, which you know, it's on you if you actually care. And I'm, I'm already dead, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, um, they say dying is a free homeward bone, so technically correct, right? Either way, I will see y'all back up there. Right. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Does anyone remember that from the SpongeBob uh, Lost Tape special? <laughs> um, I don't know if that's actually where that song's from, but it was one of those things where, like, they had Patchy, I think, was the pirate's name. Um, okay, so let's see here. I think if I go. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I do, like, a little something, something like this. Breaking through. This might just work. Um, I might have found an exploit zone because her things aren't hitting me like at all. They're like right in my face. Can't tell exactly what I'm supposed to be hitting. I have four hours left. Let's try to move more this way. This might not work. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? So yeah, that's something you can get. <laughs> and if you're really trying to be quick, you can probably do that for the other side as well. I have to run all the way to it. Now this last one, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to actually make a run for it though, because <laughs> um, I I don't think we're gonna have an angle. <laughs> Boy. Okay. Well, no one ever gets the better chaos in one go. <laughs> if they do claim that they did, they're a liar. Um, I also want to equip the flippy ring because I don't feel like re equipping the. Um... Actually, you know what? I had the Hawkeye ring, but we don't really need that anymore. I'd rather flip. Eee. Okay, then I will meet you all back there. Alright, can they do it in one go here? 
Um, and this is one go because you get your allowed one death per side. Ooh, it's right, it gets fiery on the last stage. Now, I might mess this up because I know you gotta be quick. And I, and once the floor collapses, um, you gotta be in a very specific spot. Otherwise, okay, that still hit me, which is annoying. No. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I know where to go now. It's more to the right. I wasn't really sure if it was the left or right, but it's fine. I think it's also better to um, draw out the double swing before you charge in. Either way, I'll try it out in a minute here. Okay, this is the one. This is the one. I know it. I know it. Fire! Okay, let's see how to do it. And I think. Yeah, see, like. Wow. Some long fingernails she's got. <laughs> Try this again. Oh my god, I just realized uh, there's actually some business I gotta do before um, we wanna f kill the boss. So, where I wanna go, and am I stuck here? No, I have to go around this way. Where I wanna go is uh, to the shortcut area. So, I'll take you along with me. This point. I, I think the shortcut is from, uh, from the boss arena. Um, well, I'm actually glad I was failing because if I. I don't even know. I might. You might not get to see the, <laughs> what I'm about to show you if you kill the boss first. So we got pretty lucky here. Um, back to the Great Sword Retorius because this is really what it's all about. Uh, too lazy to put all of my armor back on. No, I don't. I think we go this way. I think we gotta go up and over this way. Um, excuse me, sir. Um, that's not what I want. Oh, maybe it was back down there, actually. I swear, I thought this is like... A bridge. Alright, well... I mean, we got time to fill. I don't think I'm going to combine this into the previous episode. I think I am going to still skip the split. So we need more time to fill up. It's like at an awkward timing, right? Because it would have been a real chunky episode had I not split it. I think I just got to go right here, actually. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So what is all this for, you might be wondering. Um, well, not this guy. You might remember this guy gave me a bunch of trouble last time. <laughs> He's He respawns, so... He's uh, not worth fighting unless you're farming for his stuff. I mean, that's the nice thing is that he respawns, so therefore, so does his uh, tech mate. Ooh, nearly got me. Not quite. Okay, let's, uh, let's get moving here. So, that's a crystal lizard, I believe. So, at this point, who are we going to see? Well, I. It shouldn't be a spoiler. I've been talking about it a lot. Let's take this guy. Alright, well, we don't need any more upgrades anyway. Um, there is our buddy Solaire. Hello, friend. How are you? But he looks a little different, doesn't he? Let's see what he has to say. My very own son. I am the son. I have done it. I have. Yes. I did. I did. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so yes, Solaire has been um, brain maggoted. <laughs> As you can see, that's uh, the same hat that we wore in the Tomb of the Giants in our first playthrough. For some reason, it's not actually giving a light source for him, which is kind of unfair if you ask me. Um, but essentially, what's going on is the Sunlight Maggot. Uh, I don't know why when we put it on, we're, we're fine. I assume it's because, like, uh, oh, we might be dead. Okay, thank God. 
Um, I think it's because uh, we killed it first, whereas it was alive when it got to him. So, um, what's essentially going on is it's like tapped right into his brain. And yeah. It's very sad because. Dark. So dark. Oh, damn. Um, it's pretty sad because, like, you know, he was led to a false. He's just, like, so desperately trying to find his son, and he ends up getting um, a parasite which emits light, like, directly into his brain. So things were probably pretty bright for him, right? Like, just the sun is going directly into his brain, like, not even just in front of his face. So, um, as you can saw, too, he's probably just getting, like, his endorphins just, like, or is it endorphins or what's like the serotonin? It's the chem brain chemical that like makes you feel pleasure. Um, I see what the sounds he was making. He was probably getting quite a large dose of it there. Um, and ultimately, we had to put him down because you know he was he was a mad dog and he needed to be put down. It's all because of these things. So let's uh, show him what we think. And that is pretty satisfying, if you ask me. So there's the crickets are still tripping on that side. Because uh, we can't get them. Uh, if we touch the door, it's going to be all like, you need covenant access. Or, wait, maybe. I think it opens <laughs> no matter what from this side. If you want to come here early from the other side, and there's the sunlight maggot thing. If you want to come here from the other side in order to kill him, to kill the thing before it can get on Solaire, that's how we saved him in the first playthrough. But if you don't, then this happens, and then you're just like, left wondering what the heck did you just witness um get all of his stuff too for killing him sunlight straight sword and shield and his whole armor set very sad uh we will definitely pour one out for Solar. but yes we still have some business to attend to which is the bed of chaos and i'm just gonna home bone because yeah walking back past the demon is gonna suck plus i need my estus back so i will meet you guys back at the fight where we are going to finish it. See you there. Okay, this is the one I think, man. This is the boss that really, like, wears on your just endurance. Not your in-game, but, like, your actual gaming endurance. Because, oh my god, it takes forever. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill me. Oh, okay, 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 here we go. I didn't even... Oh my god. <laughs> I knew that if I jumped or rolled, I was going to get hit anyway. Oh! <laughs> I want to be over. Meet you back there. Alright guys, this is me do it. I, um, kind of running short on time in real life, so this needs to be wrapped up now and not later. So, let's get it. As they say. Here, here, here's what I'm doing. We gotta just bait out the attack. Go back very far. Now we can charge him. Not yet. God dang it. Alright, I'm getting like frustrated now. Um How do we okay. I'll figure it out this time. I, I swear to god I will. Alright, so I put our heavy armor back on because the problem is we're getting one shot by the hand. So hopefully this means um, if we do get hit, we'll survive. We'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, well, we survived one shot. Come on, come on, come on. And I think we're good. Once we're down here, the only thing that can kill us is the firestorm. Okay, let's go. Some new pair of shoes. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not that was ominous sounding. Alright. Get, get out of here. Ah. We did it. <laughs> yeah, see, like, literally, this is definitely a candidate for the worst boss in the game. Like, easily. Because it's not like a f it's frustrating for all the wrong reasons. It's like, let's just make Dark Souls a platformer, even though it's not. <laughs> so let me level up. We'll go to like Firelink Shrine or something for our goodbyes. Uh, we need faith. 
have faith. Okay, intelligence and faith. That's exactly what we want. Okay, I'm, I'm like, my brain is much. I've recorded quite a few episodes. This is all the way from Gundolin, so fuck a lot of bosses went to a lot of areas. Let's go to Firelink Shrine. We're gonna go to Anorlando next for the Duke's archives, but just go back here. So this is going well. Right, we're uh, getting through all the bosses. Things are happening. And yeah, and then we take it back to Firelink Shrine. We need to take rest. So yeah, guys, like I said, I got some things I gotta head out to, so. Uh, make this quick. Come thank you guys for watching as always. And yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.